Well, Patriot Award 2019, it actually prepares airmen because it allows them to get access to equipment, to training that they otherwise wouldn't receive. And we get it in a very condensed fashion in a very short period of time to make them wartime ready. So Patriot Award as a whole is about 600 people. Uh, from, for about 40 to 42 different locations and about 60 different AFSCs. Here at Dobbins location, uh, we're going to have roughly about 180 to 200 individuals will come through here in about a two rotation period over the 30 days. Uh, and we're going to represent about 13 AFSCs for the CE contingent. Civil Engineering CE, they do a lot for the preparation of, for example, a bear base. If we're going into an area for the first time, they have uh, multiple trades, setting up tents to uh, setting up AC, they have the HVAC, electricians, uh, engineers that go out and survey, uh, structures that build things, you know, their fire department is part of Civil Engineering Squadron. See as a whole, they, they are the hardest working people I've ever seen in the Air Force, really are, uh, top to bottom, left to right. You have individuals that are coming together and within a very short period of time they're learning to work together. When you're going into a live fire with an individual or you're depending on the person next to you to do the proper uh, work need on a ROPU, which is our uh, reverse osmosis water treatment uh, that we do, it actually requires you to trust the person next to you that they're going to do their job. It, it gives you the ability to build some camaraderie that you wouldn't normally get. fire department yesterday as part of the exercise they had about six to seven exercise scenarios that they had to respond to from helicopter fires to uh, you know a deep incline rescue for a body that rollover and they had a you know whole aircraft fire they had to put out and basically every hour on the hour every hour and a half they were being called out for somewhere across the base to go respond and put out a fire and do search and rescue for potential bodies. It's a tremendous opportunity. I think that this is the opportunity that a lot of squadrons and a lot of wings across the Air Force Reserve Command could take advantage of. I think the opportunity to get people out here and getting their wartime tasks done uh, is something that should absolutely be taken advantage of, and this is a program that should continue.